What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna do a video on Impunity KH again, all right? Why again, why again? So the last one that I did, analysis that I did, which is the previous video, that it was bad gameplay. Not from Impunity KH, but from the enemy. It was like super, super one-sided and I couldn't really judge whether Impunity KH is ready for M2 or whatnot. It was a three-band system, it's not a five-band system. So here we go. We finally have a five band system. Someone um, recommended this on Discord. So shout out to you. It was, um, who was it? IDK Lamau. All right. So, uh, and a lot of you commented on the previous YouTube video as well about this game and this tournament. So it's Smart Kingdom of Legends Impunity Cage versus See You Soon GG. So here we go. It is going to be a Five ban system, so that's good to see. Finally, Impunity KH. Natalia gets banned, Chang'e gets banned, and Brody gets banned. Those are pretty common except for Chang'e. This Chang'e ban usually not banned until the second phase. For the other side, they have Sicilian, Farsa, and Cho. The Chu gets banned, sure. The Farsa gets banned, sure. The Sicilian, though, does not get banned. So whoever is drafting for See You Soon, GG. Well, I don't know why. Because even the previous video that I analyzed for Impunity KH, they had a Sicilian pick on the other team as well. Why do they like Sicilian so much when the meta right now is is a lot about early game pressure and whoever snowballs faster. The Chu doesn't get banned like majority of the time, but it is a possible ban. I really think it could have been something else. Obviously, recently there's a big patch that dropped. So this was before that patch that dropped, all right? A lot of heroes got nerfed. Lancelot, Ling, all them. Barats got nerfed again, Alice got nerfed, you know what I mean? So before that, it, it was a, it's a different meta, right? This is a different meta from what we're gonna see in M2. But I'm gonna base this off the previous meta, okay? Before the big patch, before the major patch. So keep that in mind. So here we go, let's see what they first pick. Don't tell me they first pick Gushin, I was about to say. There's so many open. There's Yu Zhang, there's Lunox, there's Alice, there's Barats, there's Benedetta. Oh man, like, I don't know if Benedetta is available during this um, tournament. It was, uh, let's check out the date, November 8, 2020. So it, it is quite some time ago, I guess. Benedetta was not out yet during that time. So maybe this is no Benedetta. So we'll see. Kagura is an okay pick, I guess. Not bad, could have been better. Jawhead is still there. Jawhead is like priority pick right now. So I, I have a feeling Impunity KH is still a little behind in terms of draft. Like they don't know their power picks or they they don't want to go for power picks. I don't know. But Kagura is an okay pick. No no problems for me. How could I forget about Hilda and Jawhead? There you go. And I think they're going to pick it. It's most likely going to be a Jawhead offlane. This Hilda has Retribution. That That's a little weird. That's a little weird. And they pick Badang and Esmeralda. It's, is, is that really a thing? They have a really, okay, Khalid. Khalid tank, way more acceptable, especially with the meta from back then. Khalid tank is still used, I would say. Esmeralda was really, really strong before the meta, before the major patch. Draft is still a little weak, to be honest. Little weak, and I feel like see you soon, GG. They're just going for power picks. They're trying to go for deny picks and not let Impunity KH take the, the OP Hilda. You know, this is the Hilda that's pre-nerfed, by the way, before the nerf. The OP Jawhead, this is before the nerf too. You know what I mean? So still really strong. But I don't really see Hilda and Jawhead usually together. Usually they they don't come together. It's either Jawhead or Hilda on your team. Uranus got nerfed. Um, I don't know if Uranus was still meta during this patch. But if it was November and when Brody was out already, Uranus got nerfed already. So Uranus is actually not a good pick anymore when Brody was was already released. So this means that Uranus, I mean, it, he's still decent. He's still definitely decent. He's not weak. I'm not I'm not saying he's weak. He just could have been a better pick. Where, where's the Barats? Barats is OP during this, this patch that they're playing on, but they picked the Uranus instead. A lot of problems in the draft for both teams. I'm, I'm not a big fan on the way they draft. And they have a coach too. I don't know which team this is. Look, they have their own coach drafting for them. God, you guys have a coach and you guys have like a, it looks like a list. Is this a list of draft or any or something? I mean, I understand you guys have probably have your own meta, but Cambodia is also capable of playing against Indonesia, Singapore server. So they should be like, they're close. They're close to Southeast Asia region or Southeast Asia meta. So there shouldn't be any reason for you to be far from it. Why are you guys drafting so far from the meta? All right, let's just say Benedetta was not out yet, but we see Brody ban right there. So, you know, this is recent. This is really recent, not too long ago. Oh, they banned Car- who the hell 
Banskari. Are these respect bans? I don't understand. I don't know if Hellcurt got nerfed here already. When Brody got released, I think Hellcurt was nerfed already. So this shouldn't be banned as well. This shouldn't be banned as well. Hellcurt got nerfed already. I think they both have a coach. Let me see. Okay, this is one coach. They both have a coach. Are you serious? These are both coaches. You guys need to do some more research. All right, the Hearth Mage support was a thing during MPLI. I don't know. I think they're most likely going to do Hearth Core here. What the hell am I watching? All right, Lancelot is good. That's fine. Gushin. Gushin is good against Uranus, so that's good. Okay, so they counterpicked the Uranus with the Gushin. They had to go Lancelot against the Jawhead and Hilda because the early game pressure is going to be too strong. So they need some type of early game. Um, Esmeralda's late game, uh, Kagura is late game, Gushin's more of mid game, Kalida's early game, and Lancelot's early game. So overall, pretty balanced, I would say. But then again, where the fuck is the Barats? You know what I mean? Like, no Barats pick or even banned at all. They pick Cyclops. All right, so Cyclops support. It could work, especially in the meta before. Is Cyclops a meta when Brody got released? It still could work. Cyclops support. Sure, it's not the best, especially against Kagura. Why would you pick a Cyclops against Kagura? Because when Cyclops tries to ulti Kag, Kag will simply just run away, get her umbrella, and then immune out with the umbrella. You could literally dash out with the umbrella. And same with Lancelot. Why would you pick Cyclops into a Lancelot? A Lancelot can dodge a Cyclops ulti with second skill. So Cyclops is actually a really bad pick here in this situation. In general, Cyclops is okay, but in this situation, it's pretty bad. In summary, the bans, this is trash. Uh, this could have been a little better. That should have been on the second phase. This is a trash ban. Chu is okay, Farsa is okay. Uranus is not as strong as before when Brody came out. This could have been better. And this could have been a lot better for the Cyclops because Cyclops gets countered by Lancelot and gets countered by Kagura. So like overall, I honestly think Impunity should take this pretty easily. They have a pretty balanced draft while these guys, they're kind of all over the place. And I think they forced the deny pick on the Jawhead and the Hilda since they don't want to give it to Impunity KH. But let's see how it goes. They have Horus late game. Cyclops is kind of mid late game. Uranus is also late game. The only early game they have is Hilda and Jawhead, so they really need to make make you know make up some ground in the early stage of the game. If Impunity KH, if they snowball with the Lancelot, then see you soon, GG will definitely just get demolished and destroyed. Alright, here we go. Laning phase. Uranus is gonna cut the lane. Pretty standard for Uranus. Esmeralda could actually go for this and just keep using second skill. It's a Hilda off lane. Okay, good. Hilda off lane, but Cyclops went gold lane first. Look, Cyclops went gold lane first, Hilda's at mid. So who has the roaming item? Pause right away. Here we go. So Hilda became the support instead of Cyclops being the support. I mean, it could work, yeah, definitely. But I feel like um, Gushin, if they have the chance for Gushin and SME, they should switch lanes right here. They should definitely switch lanes. I think Esmeralda is really good against Cyclops and uh, Gushin is better against Uranus. Another alternative could have been Cyclops go mid and then Hilda goes here. I don't think Hilda can burst out gets can get bursted out by, by Gushin unless he's really, really fed. Because if Hilda gets shield whenever Gushin tries to do a combo, you're not going to be able to burst out the Hilda and he's just going to smack you in the face. So Jawhead is actually doing a fast blue with the first skill right here. And then... He Hearth is just gonna wait, uh, last hit it with second skill or first skill, doesn't matter. Lancelot's going for a uh, Little Wanderer, pretty, pretty normal, nothing special here. Oh my god, he face checked. That's the problem with Cyclops off lane, you see what I mean? That's the problem with Cyclops off lane, you cannot go aggressive, and then when you try to face check, you're screwed. If this was Hilda, on the other hand, you're harder to burst. There's, there's no way for Gushin to burst you. So, yeah, the laning phase for See You Soon GG, already really bad. I thought it was going to be Cyclops support. If you saw it on drafts, it should have been Cyclops support, even though he gets countered by Kagura and Lancelot. Hilda should have been off lane. Would have been better. So already, um, I don't see any pressure from Hilda or Jawhead right now. They're actually getting destroyed. When you pick a Hilda and a Jawhead, you want to invade a lot, or you want to put pressure at least in, you know, in the enemy jungle. But right now, they haven't been doing anything for CU soon. So already, this is already really bad and it, this looks like a big tournament it's a land tournament by smart so there's no reason for the th there's no excuses this time a lot of people are saying oh this is a small tournament 
this shouldn't count. This doesn't matter. Well, this one's a LAN tournament. And still, see you soon, GG. They're playing this almost the same way. Or not the same way. What I mean is same level as the previous analysis I did. Same level of the team. But let's see. Apparently, this is supposed to be a closer game. Okay, Jawhead is right there trying to get the Kagura. Kagura teleports. Nice throw on Khalid. Ka you should have thrown Khalid after he second skills. But let's see what happens here. Does he still have heal? He doesn't have heal. So he did throw it after the second skill. That's good. That's a good indication that Jawhead threw Khalid after second skill. Very well played. There we go. Finally, uh, Esmeralda actually won against Uranus on a 1v1. So that's good. Yes, Esmeralda is supposed to win that. Uranus got nerfed early game, so he's not as strong. And also late game, I think Esme should win against Uranus as well. Let's see. Jawhead finally making a play. See, the, see what... A, ooh, that was a horrible Lancelot ulti. What is that? That was not even close. You see this? You see this right here? Okay, he flickered already. He flickered already and he forced it. You know how far this is? Do you know how far this is to try and kill the Cyclops? Yes, you might have ulti and then second skill, but let's see what happens. Okay, he still got the kill. Is he going to get traded? That's so not worth it. That is so not worth it. Honestly, that is so greedy. You do that against an MPL team, it's, your, your coach will probably get mad at you. That's an offlane off -lane Cyclops for, for a Lancelot with double buff. Is it double buff? Yes, with double buff. I'll take that any day. Here we go. Hilda should get a kill here. You see what I mean when about Hilda offlaning? Oh, Hilda, why did you... You should have ran this way. Why are you still trying to fight? Alright, I guess he didn't know anybody was there. He tried to go for a shield. There you go. Doesn't matter. It's a Hilda with assassin emblem. So he's going to be really squishy. Esmeralda should win the matchup top lane. To be honest with you, I think Gushin should switch lanes here. And then Esmeralda rotate bot. That would be better now since he died. That would be a lot better. Look, Uranus is still level 3. Finally level 4. Kagura trying to do a full burst on this Jawhead. Can't do it. Jawhead is too tanky. That's fine. Khalid is bot lane. I feel like it's still messy. The rotation is still not coordinated. What I mean by that is, you saw the Lancelot gank earlier, right? Where, where was the Khalid? Where was the Kagura when you're ganking? It was only a Lancelot that ganked. On an MPL team, we see a whole like a three-man group ganking together. Or at least the tank and the support ganking together. Not a freaking core ganking by himself. You know what I mean? The, the, the synergy is just not there. I really need to like nitpick these small details to give you guys an accurate prediction on how Impunity KH will do in M2. By the way, they're showing their gameplay right now. It's not the best. Definitely not the best. Like They're not really working as much as a team. This Kagura has been mid lane this whole time. Have you seen him on other lanes? I haven't. Khalid was bot lane once uh, after when killing Hilda, but that was about it. Kagura tried to get there, but it was too late. Hilda was already dead. Uh, okay, Harit finally getting the blue buff. Lancelot has blue buff. He's also not timing his buffs, by the way. As soon as this shit comes up, you better be freaking ready. You better be ready. And from what it looks like, he's still not ready. You guys might be annoyed because I keep saying MPL, 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 MPL teams. But that is the standard right now. You know, that's the high standard and that's what we want to see, especially if you're going to be playing for M2. You better be ready. Their tanks for support, they will wait here and take your blue buff. If they get vision control here, you will not be getting a blue buff at all if you don't time your blue super well. All right, he already uses ulti on the blue buff. Gets thrown, you see what I mean? Like, just because you didn't time your blue buff, now you need you need to actually try and work work for it. Yes, Jawhead might die here. Sure, Jawhead might die here. You still have to work for your buff, and it delays you just a little bit. I don't know what Hilda's doing, to be honest with you. I think they really should switch Hilda to bot lane, and then Cyclops to mid lane. Uh, they switch lanes. Okay, now it's Gushin. It's the other team that switched lanes. Uranus against the Gushin. And then Cyclops against the Esmeralda. That's even worse matchup for the for, for See You Soon GG. This is starting to look like the previous video that I did. I guess you sure they got more kills. But from what it looks like, it's still the same shit. Alright, nice stun on Kagura. That guy's dead. Nice burst on Gushin. Very well played. Pretty standard. Harith ulting. I don't think Harith has enough damage to be honest with you. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, he had to flicker. Okay, that's fine. They could have turtled. After this, they could have turtled. Look, four people. Four people alive. Four people against two, and then one is low HP. And two people are dead, by the way. Two people are dead. Uranus is all the way here at bot lane. 
this is an automatic turtle, yet they don't do anything, right? The macro game, still not there for impunity. This should have been a turtle. Look, easy. Easily a turtle. Easily. Yes, they don't have Lancelot, but they can still do it. They have a man advantage. They can play by the numbers. They don't necessarily need retribution. Let's see what happens here. Gushin, can you land? Okay. Kind of slow. Let's see. That combo, that, that, that Gushin combo is kind of... He still gets the kill. Oh my god, he fucked it up. Okay, second skill, first skill. He did first skill first before second skill. When you're close range like that, you want to do second skill and then first skill. You don't want to do first skill, second skill. It still worked. Okay. The minion blocked. He needs to play it more patient, I would say, with this Gushin. I don't even play Gushin and then he fucked it up. That should have been this should have been an easy kill, honestly. I think Uranus is still gonna live. Nice. And because they didn't do the turtle earlier, now Harith has it. Uh let me see. Let's say Harith has retribution. Sure, let's say Harith has retribution. And he tries to go contest for a turtle. He's alone. Against one, two, three, and four. A Kali that could zone. A Gushin that's ha that has full mana. Full mana, by the way. So he has a full combo once his ulti comes up. Um, and then there is a... Who is this? This is Esmeralda. This is enough... This is enough mana, by the way, to do to do the turtle together. I would say the only one that doesn't have mana that could probably have less amount of help or impact if Hearth tries to go for a turtle or contest a turtle is Kagura because she doesn't have any mana. Barely. She could probably throw a couple of umbrellas, but that's about it. Maybe one or two. But still, that was a, it was still an easy turtle. So yeah, I just wanted to get back to it to give you guys... So now they got the turtle. See what I mean? Like you're not taking advantage of the team fight that you just won. You didn't get any objectives. You didn't punish. Um, see you soon, GG at all. After you're winning that team fight, you didn't get anything. They just reset the lanes and did nothing. Their punish game is so weak. If you're a professional team, when you win a team fight, you want to look for an objective to punish the enemy team, and they didn't do anything to punish. All right, good thing Gushin got a Uranus 1v1 right there. He's supposed to. If he lost against Uranus, I don't know what to say. He's supposed to counter Uranus, by the way. Because Uranus cannot regen fast enough for Gushin's combo, full burst. So that's why Gushin is really good against Uranus. So they're going to get a tower here. It's good that Jawhead is backing off. He can't defend this. Honestly, I don't know how Impunity KH, I don't know how they're not winning by a landslide. Because the other team is, they're really bad as well the, it, it really reminds me of the the team that i previously analyzed as well i forgot their name it was mvp i forgot what it stand for hard still getting the buff i mean hard is not going to go online until late game it's hard is technically a late game hero what happens here all right let's let, let's see top lane who's getting dive right here that is the who is that is that the lancelot oh no it's it's the cyclops well that's what happens when you put cyclops in off lane he gets bullied cyclops literally has no mobility so easy to go to go against offlane. So that's also their fault for putting these guys' fault for putting Cyclops on an offlane. Probably the one of the dumbest things you could do. It's so easy to bully. So easy to bully. Here you go. And they actually get turned on. Surprisingly, they got counter ganked and they got outnumbered. So meaning that this guy's most likely gonna die. Not... Why don't they buy potion? Oh my god. God, and he threw, like, the opposite way too. I don't know if he was trying to throw Hilda or he was trying to throw Khalid. Whatever, man. <laughs> face palm. Quick face palm real quick. See what happens here. Alright, Gushin might try to burst out this Uranus. I don't think he can burst him really easily now. Uranus is going to start building magic resist. Hilda's going to die. What happened to Hilda there? Okay, how did Hilda... Why is Hilda so overextended? Let me see. Hilda's trying to get the tower. Oh, he got pushed by uh, Kagura. He got ulted by Kag. Okay, so, good, well, good job from Kag. Good job from Kag. So that's why Hilda got caught. It was it was the Kag combo. Gushin's trying to do a 1v1 on Uranus. Can he kill? He can't. I think he messed up his combo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's so screwed. That's the problem with Gushin against Uranus. If you mess up the combo, you're screwed. And that's exactly what happened. There you go. Very well played from Uranus. Making him mess up. Here we go. Let's see what else happens here. Khalid got Oracle. That's good. Finally, Cyclops is mid. Oh, wow. Look at 
but you look at that! Something that they should have done like the start of the game. Hilda offlane and then Cyclops at support. Oh my god, so surprising. Very, I'll give you guys a freaking... I'll give you guys an applaud right there. Jesus Christ, that's that's what you guys should have done in the beginning of the game. Nice try from Kagura. Where, well played from Hearth though. This heart, this heart is really trying to carry. He's been farming this whole game, and he's the only one trying to carry his team. To be honest with you, all right. Let's see what else happens here. I see no pressure from Hilda and Joyhead early game. When you pick a Hilda and Joyhead, it's either you do a really fast clear, or you try to harass the enemy team. What? Oh my! That hurt my eyes. Honestly, that hurt my eyes. Who recommended this video for me? I thought this was going to be better. Y'all were lying. First of all, Gushin is not supposed to go in. On a 1v3, by the way, after getting Cyclops ulted. 1v3, by the way. Second of all, Joehead is supposed to throw the Gushin over here. Into the hearth. He threw the fucking Cyclops. Alright, Hilda trying to 1v1 an Esmeralda that's level 10. I don't think he's going to be able to... Um, beat that. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, do not pick Jawhead again. <laughs> How many throws is that? How many throws has that been? This Uranus is dead. He doesn't have mana. This guy doesn't have mana. Good. If they didn't kill that, I was gonna say. I would have been tilted for you guys. Let's see what happens here. Gushin. Uh, what? Gushin tried to do another combo. First kill. What happened to him? Why didn't first kill? He tried to do a full combo on Hilda, and he didn't even dash in with the... He didn't even dash in with the blades. Khalid tried blind ulting a bush. Let me see. Did, did he have vision? Let me see. Khalid is right here. Khalid is right here. Sees the jawhead go in. Sees a jawhead tank, right? Jawhead tank go in. Jawhead tank. Keep that in mind. Jawhead tank. That's it. You're, you're really ulting for a jawhead tank into a bush. If it was like a core, sure, why not? But if it's a, it's a jawhead tank, you just, you just wasted a Khalid ulti right there, easily. Didn't do anything. Th that didn't do anything. I'm facepalming right now, for real, for real. Esmeralda went back against Uranus. I mean, Uranus went back to go against Esmeralda. Esmeralda should win this, by the way. Yeah, should win it. You, you win those. You win those. Fight that. Don't be pussy. There you go, you windows. What the hell? You windows. Keep going. Why is he not? You just. You had almost your 50% health stacks. Keep your stacks. He, he just let his stack just go. There's minions right here. You know that? And Jawhead already threw you. Look, Jawhead already threw you. Watch. Right here. Okay, Jawhead throw is like 10, 12 seconds. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, maybe it's sure. It's 10 seconds. He's scared of the jawhead throw. What's the jawhead cooldown on? 15 seconds or 10 seconds? I'm pretty sure it's around 10 seconds. He's gonna get almost thrown again. But still, he still wins those. Why he gave his stack away, by the way? Such a mess. Okay, Lancelot almost gets caught by Harith. This, Har this Harith is trying to carry really hard, by the way. And I don't understand because Hearth is ahead of level. This guy is ahead of level of this guy. When his team is winning. It's supposed to be the other way around. When your team is winning, your core is supposed to be more fed. Look, this guy's level 13. This guy's level 12. Why are you still behind? I don't understand. You've been farming pretty freely, I would say. The Jawhead and Hilda didn't do anything to you to farm. Didn't affect your farming, right? They didn't invade. Esmeralda not keeping her stacks. Impunity Cage not doing objectives when they were supposed to. Okay. Jawhead threw directly up instead of throwing here. Watch. Jawhead threw directly up. Instead of throwing right here, he just throws directly up. No. I mean, you could have wasted Lancelot first skill if you throw him right here. And then Cyclops could have ultied. You know what I mean? Even though it would it probably would have gotten dodge, but with Lancelot's second skill. But either way, it would have been better if Lancelot was thrown right here. You know what I mean? Alright, Khalid has immortality. He's gonna heal. 
Why exactly did that guy flicker? Why? I didn't think he have to flicker. He wins those. Oh, he, do he okay, Jawhead was gonna throw him. Okay, good. Jawhead was gonna throw him. Understandable now. Good. Here we go. The Lord is up. This is a level one Lord, by the way. They finally got Sea Halberd. I saw someone buy Sea Halberd. Who was it? A Hilda with Sea Halberd. I mean, I guess, bro. I guess. It should have been Cyclops with Necklace. He does have Necklace, though. Um, I guess it could work. It could work. Uh, this guy should be getting Necklace as well. Harith. Like, for late game. Everybody just get Necklace. Screw that Esmeralda. Let's see what else happens here. Uh, okay. A five-man siege with one cannon minion with one HP, by the way. On a Jawhead, by the way. I don't know how I feel about it. It worked. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. So Hilda's the offlaner now and Cyclops is the support. That's that's what they should have done a long time ago. What happens here? Esmeralda try to go for Hilda. You win those 1v1, Esme. Es Esme wins this any day. There you go. Why are you scared? Why are you why are you the one backing off? What happened to Harith right here? There there's a fight. Another pause? Seriously? They're asking for another pause? Look. How many posture guys gonna play? These guys put everything on a Khalid, by the way. Harith got a little too over aggressive, I would say. They went for a Khalid with Gar with with GA, with immortality, and they wasted everything on Khalid. Such an amateur mistake. Free Lord, push with the Lord, GG. What a. All right, let's see this dive. This is gonna be the last analysis that I'll do. What a disappointment. Jesus Christ. Let's see that again. Khalid is going to try to zone out the jawhead. I think they want to dive this jawhead. Yeah, they did. There it is. Diving. Oh, man. See you soon, GG. They're, they're, they're just going to get outscaled at this point by with Esme. Esme got way too fed, by the way. Esme is too fed. Cyclops pick didn't do anything. The Hilda pick didn't do much. Jawhead pick only cleared for you. Early game on the blue buff. That's it. All his throws were literally a fail. I didn't see a single successful Jawhead throw this whole game. Imagine a 14 minute game. I didn't see any good Jawhead throw. And they don't even have Purify on any of them. Any of them. Same with Khalid. Actually, Khalid, I didn't see any like ultis land. He, he's been trying to land his ulti on a Jawhead, which is the tank, by the way. He's been trying to do it this whole game. Man, I'm kind of worried for them, to be honest. If they play like this in M2, I'm worried for them. <laughs> if they play like this in M2 against an MPL team, I'm worried. If they play against a non-MPL team, sure, maybe you'll win. Maybe you'll win. Against an MPL team, I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Well... Whoever recommended this, by the way, on the comment section, it is not, it's not far from what I analyzed from last game. This team was really bad too. Draft, I mean, both teams were kind of, could have been better on draft. The gameplay, objectively, just could have been better, obviously. The Gushin did not know how to combo correctly too much, even though he's fed, apparently he's fed, sure. Khalid was ulting Jawhead the whole game. Esmeralda did good though. I would say. Esmeralda probably did the best for Impunity KH. The Lancelot was behind Harith even though his team was winning. That's unacceptable. You don't want your core to be behind the other team's core when you're the when your team is the one winning. That, that doesn't make sense. You're supposed to be ahead. <laughs> ahead. And he was one level behind. The Hilda and the Jawhead, they could have pressured early game with their team comp with the Jawhead-Hilda combo. Or it should have been Cyclops-Jawhead combo, I would say. And they switched really, really late. You know, Cyclops got bullied on the offlane and then their offlane got wrecked. Um, what else? Um, Harith got way too overconfident or over aggressive towards the second to last team fight. And he ended up kind of throwing a little bit. But other than that, Harith played okay. Uranus. Uranus couldn't do much, honestly. Against Agushin and Esme, Uranus couldn't do much. I think this was the nerf Uranus, so that explains why. But other than that, it was sure, see you soon, GG got some kills compared to MVP. But still, I would say it's it's the same level of play style or gameplay as MVP. It's not even, 
It's nowhere near close. I can't believe it though, because Cambodia, you, you guys have land tournaments. You guys are lucky to have land tournaments for this. For this shit. Oh my god. And you guys are really close to Southeast Asia region, so that means you guys should really be familiar with what other with other countries nearby have. I don't understand. Why is it so far? Not so far, but like it's Okay, it's it's far from the Southeast Asia meta that's I don't know. Comment below what you guys think about what you guys saw, whatever I pointed out. For me, all right, my expectation was a lot higher for Impunity KH. They already got experience from M1. They should have. They should be better now, but I just don't see much. Cause last time we scrimmaged against them, we we three would them. I'm pretty sure. Uh, was it was it Cambodia or Laos? I'm pretty sure it was Cambodia that we scrimmed three would, and after that we didn't play each other again. Um, but yeah, other than that. Tell me what you guys think on the comment section below. I still don't see any improvements. They're definitely going to struggle against an MPL team, but maybe against like teams that don't have MPL, Russia, Japan, they might do okay. Um, or the uh, what else? Uh, Brazil, they might do okay. Okay, um, but yeah, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And um, do not forget to hit that notification bell before you go for more analysis and for more live streams. All right, thank you guys. I'm out. Peace.